All right, here's our video today. Civil, nautical, and astronomical twilight. And the funny thing about twilight is when we think of twilight, we think of dusk, right? Well, twilight is also the morning. It's also dawn. Let's get our pen going here. So what are you seeing now? Are you seeing dawn in the picture, or are you seeing dusk? It's hard to tell, right? In fact, it's impossible to tell unless you have a watch on. So again, you know, when we think of twilight, there's three types of twilight. So we have dawn or dusk. That's twilight. And then, of course, we're going to talk about the golden hour and the blue hour. So let's get a clean page going. So here's the golden hour. And the golden hour lasts an hour. Well, it could last a little longer depending on where you are in the world and uh, the type of season it is. Now, again, this could be sunrise, sunset. Old song, right? I think it was, I um, forgot the name of the movie. So what is it? Is it sunrise? Is it sunset? Why don't we call it, I'll call it sunset. Why not? So let's talk about the electromagnetic spectrum so we can understand these colors and why they're doing that. We'll do that. Get our pen. Electromagnetic spectrum. It's just light. And of course, we're just going to deal with visible light, the visible light part, the light we see. We don't see the other light, right? There's radio is light. We don't see that. Microwave is light. We don't see that. Infrared, we don't see that. And then we see visible light. And then on the other side, you know, we have ultraviolet UV. We don't see those. We get the effects of UV. And there's X-ray. That's light. Go to the dentist, get some X-rays. And, of course, gamma. That's the electromagnetic spectrum. But we're going to deal with the visible light. So let's put a little arrow here. And in visible light, you have the longest is red. And the shortest is violet. But our eyes do not see, well, we don't have violet cones in our eyes. We see blue better than violet. That's why the sky is blue. So we'll talk about this spectrum. And by the way, I have other videos on the electromagnetic spectrum if you want to know a little more about it and why the sky is blue. All right, and we'll throw in O for orange. Right, there's a little and why you know there's a way you can remember this Roy, Biv, and in the middle is green, green stuck in the middle, and over here we have blue, indigo, and violet. That's the Biv part. So this part right here, let's use blue. Why not this part over here? This blue, they it scatters more, scatters faster than the red and orange and yellow. Red, again, has they have the shortest over here, the shortest wavelength. They scatter faster. And the red has the longest. They have the longest. They take a longer time to reach our eyes. So let me give you a picture of that. So when the light from the sun enters the atmosphere, you know, it's, the atmosphere is like a prism, all the light will break apart. That's why, you know, the light is basically white until it enters a prism of the atmosphere. And the blue light, the, uh, the violet light, will scatter more. And the reason why we see the blue light rather than the violet light, the reason why the sky is blue is because blue light, we're more sensitive to blue light than violet light. So the blue is scattering everywhere. So if we get our blue going on over here, we have the blue scattering across the sky and we see more of the blue. Now, as the day, if you can see over here from the sunset, the red, the red and the yellow, they scatter longer. So it takes a longer time for us to reach, longer for those waves to reach our eyes. But at the end of the day, as the blue light is, as the earth is spinning, the blue light is scattering on the other side where the ray, the red and the yellow is now reaching our eyes. 
So if we had a, let's just draw a, the globe over here, and let's put some cities together. Let's say, let's say we have Boston over here, All right? And then 12 hours difference, we have, we'll have Manila, the Philippines. And so let's say it's 6 a.m. here, and let's say the sun is rising. So as the sun is rising in Boston, it's setting in Manila. And so it would be like midday, maybe 3 p.m. in Rome. So in Rome, we have a blue sky. So the blue is entering to Boston. It's leaving Manila. And then on the other side of the world, it's night. And we'll throw in Hawaii. So in Hawaii, it'll be like 4 a.m. Roughly, well, 3 a.m., we'll say. So actually, let's check those times. You know, they're off, actually. So instead of 3 p.m., I'm thinking of a clock here. So 6 a.m. will be noon in Rome, and it'll be midnight the day before in Hawaii. So that's better. So again, we have the blue sky. It's, it's midday and noon, blue sky. And it's night in Hawaii. And in Manila, we have a sunset going on. So we have a sunset going on here. So think of the sunset over here. It takes a longer time for the red to scatter. And the red is reaching the Philippines now, the red and the yellow, as the blue is moving away from them right? Because they're going into the night. They're going into sunset. They're in twilight. So I'll leave that up for one second. Get that blue back. So again, if this was the sun. You know, the, the light from the sun is enters the atmosphere of every shorter distance and it scatters quickly. And over here, the red light has reached us, the red and the yellow. That's why sunrise has a red and yellowish, and sunset has the same, because it took a longer time, as you can see in the picture here. So, again, we said this would be the golden hour. It could happen an hour, you know, when the sun rose during, you know, dawn, or it could be at dusk. So right now, it's the golden hour. It's not twilight yet. And this will last an hour or more or less, depending on, again, where you are. And again, we're getting that yellow. Well, let's just say this is sunset in the Philippines. We're getting that yellow because the blue has scattered already on the other side of the world. And the yellow and reds have taken a longer time to get to us. And they're getting to us at the end of the day. And here's a chart. And this is ex just exactly how it happens. Civil twilight is when the sun has set. We don't see the sun anymore at the horizon. And it's at a, from zero on the horizon to six degrees is called civil twilight. And civil twilight, all these twilights usually last about average about a half an hour. So we have the golden hour, which is about an hour. The sun is setting. So it's between six degrees and zero, as you can see. Make sure we have our pen. What? Well, let me choose white. So again, you can see the chart. Here's the sun. It appears that it's going down. That's the golden hour. And from that horizon all the way to six degrees is the civil twilight. And in civil twilight, you can probably still be playing baseball. Probably harder to play. You know that when you're playing, your mother calls you home. Your grandmother, whoever, or your wife. Then we get to this blue hour, which we'll talk about. And then again, nautical twilight from 6 degrees to 12 degrees. And the blue hour is in between all these. And then a, the astronomical twilight. And then a finally, nighttime. Of course, it's all semantics. You probably think it's night when we're in nautical twilight anyway. So let's look at the, some of the pictures of that. And we've got civil twilight. You can see the nautical and astronomical. Those are the differences there. Let's go back to that scattering. Make sure we get that. Oh, and of course, this will happen at dawn also. Remember, dawn and dusk. 
two sides of the same coin. All right, what is this? Is this civil twilight? Or is, is it dawn? Is it dusk? Now, when we talk about the scattering, again, you know, blue light does scatter but the best as far as what we can see because we have blue cones. We don't have violet cones in our eyes, so we don't see violet as well as blue, even though violet will scatter more than blue. And so in the atmosphere, you know, as the blue comes in, as it bends, as the white light enters our atmosphere, you know, the most thing that is scattering the blue, let's make sure our pen's working now, right? And we'll use, let's use, let's use violet, why not? So it's oxygen, O2. O2 is what we breathe in, and nitrogen, let's fix that. They're scat these molecules are scattering the blue light. But at the, over here, we'll use red. In this area over here, you have more dust particles. So you have, you know, dust and um, other particles. You could have ash, for example. You can have pollutants, like aerosols and stuff. I'm trying to ban aerosols, but aerosols and other kind of chemicals. So this, that hang out at the lower atmosphere, so they will scatter the red, that's how the red and the yellow scatter. Of course, the more ash you see, you'll see more of a reddish hue. And you know, you're wondering, well, where's green? Again, I said earlier, green's stuck in the middle. It's the blues dominating the green, and then the red dominates the green on the other side. So again, the oxygen in the atmosphere, and also, I forgot to add water. Water could scatter light also. It scatters it in different ways. But for the most part, again, the blue light has been scattered as the earth is turning. So we're seeing, go back to that other picture. And we said in our, before we said this was Rome. What do you think that is? That's the blue hour. I forgot to mention the blue hour. The blue hour is just between civil and nautical twilight. And it has that blue hue as the sun is either rising or setting. The blue hour is not exactly an hour. It's It could be within the civil twilight and nautical twilight. Sometimes you don't notice it because it's getting darker, depending on the season. So again, twilight could be dawn, could be dusk. As the sun is setting, this is dusk, obviously. It's moving from the golden hour into civil twilight, blue hour, nautical twilight, and so forth. But it could also be going from astronomical twilight dawn, nautical twilight dawn, the blue hour again, civil twilight, and that golden hour in the morning. So the golden hour is morning or evening, depending. And just one last thing, just to make sure we understand that, oxygen and nitrogen in our atmosphere will scatter blue. And blue does scatter more. That's why the sky is blue. But at night, as the Earth is tilting away, the waves, the you know, the electromagnetic spectrum of red has entered our eyes. And that's why we're seeing more of the red than the blue. And the water droplets and the dust and any kind of pollutants will scatter that. And um, that's why we have that nice yellow or red sunset. All right. That's our video today. By the way, the movie, I think, was Fiddler on the Roof, which I mentioned before. I mentioned Sunrise Sunset song. All right.